Hello everyone and welcome back. I'll show you a step by step guide to get the umbrella ending of the game in this video. Before we get into it, two things are really important to understand. Do not cleanse any beacons in this run and be extra careful of step 11 once you get to it. For more game guides and souls like content, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Step 1. Meet Damaros near the vestige of Kabui, which is on your main story route. The clerics, well, more often than make speak, us upon the threat of death. Nah, you know, not now. I oh, know, don't. There's Sal, but you won't find There's Sal, but you won't find it. Step 2. Meet Damaros just before the gentle Gavras, Mistress of Hounds boss, and also save Gerlind, the blacksmith, in the same area. No one, finally. Once you save her, now go and talk to Damaros before the boss fight. So... You're starting to see through butchers and mad idea. The one restoring order to fuck it names Damrose. And it takes a to cut them down. Step three, defeat the hushed saint and do not cleanse the beacon. Again, we never cleanse the beacons in this run. Once you defeat him, you'll encounter the vestige of the pale butcher next. Step 4. From this vestige of the Pale Butcher, head out towards Fitzroy's Gorge, find Damaros and kill Ruina. If you go left from here, you can defeat the Percival boss and then you just need to meet Damaros at the last location. But if you go right, then you will see her standing near the hillside and I'll show you exactly where. I defeated Percival for some goods and then headed to the right direction. If you head right, on the other hand, you will see her standing here on the left side. Now you'll progress and find yourself next at the Ruiner boss. and then defeat the Ruiner. Just a reminder that all boss guides and location guides can be found in the playlist in the description. Step 5. Now go into the Umbral Realm and head towards the final location of Damaros as I show here.
open this shortcut if required, otherwise there is a vestige near Damaros anyway. Just make sure Damaros is here standing next to the ledge. Step 6. Now progress in the game and defeat the Skin Stealer. Then head into the depths to defeat Harrower Dervla. I have a location and boss guide for Harrower Dervla as well which shows you the complete route in case you need it. After defeating her, back to the base and buy the Umbral Scouring Clamp. Chosen bearer of the lamp, like you I serve until her embrace. Now we go back to the depths and get Damaros's seed pod. Step 7. Kill Damaros by the vestige I showed in Step 5, then get Gurlin's seed pod. <laughs> Next, get Gurlin's seed pod from the mother's lull in the depths. For killing Gerlin, I waited till after Tancred so that I had the three tablets to free Sparky and I could upgrade my weapons even after I killed Gerlin. I'll quickly show you the location of these three tablets as well before killing Gerlin. First one is in the cave just before the Ruiner. Second one is in the room before the caves of the Sunless Skines area. And finally, the third one is on the bottom floor of the Tower of Penance, which is one level up from the floor where you defeat Tancred. If you're not worried about upgrades though, you can use it on her even without the tablets. Step 8. Beat the Huntress before the Cleric boss and get the Ruin of Adair. If Wayfarer helps you in this fight, then this step comes once you beat Wayfarer in Upper Kalrath since he will take the Ruin with him. Step 9. Beat the Cleric, do not touch the beacon ever and head to Upper Kalrath to defeat the Light Reaper if you haven't defeated him already. Go through the base to the Skyrus Bridge and the gate at the end will be open. Get to the Light Reaper boss and defeat him to get his Umbral Parasite. <laughs> Step 
Step 9. Use the Light Reaper's Umbral Parasite at the base next to Molu by interacting with the pillar. Step 10. Back to the depths and the mother's lull. Hand over the Ruin of a Deer. Important note. This step might come after defeating the Wayfarer if he stole the Ruin at the Huntress's fight in Step 8. Step 11. Beat the Iron Wayfarer and double check that you have a Withered Ruin of a Deer before clicking on the gate. If you get the Ruin of a Deer from Wayfarer, go back to Step 10. Double check you have the Withered Ruin of a Deer in your inventory. And then proceed to the gate to use it. Step 12. Beat the Sundered Monarch and use the Melchior Seed Pod on a deer. Let us jump. No! Wretched Parasite! I will not be devoured! Step 13. Go to Fief of the Chilkers and meet Wayfarer. Get the Hawkins Umbral Parasite to use at the base. Man can try to deny what he is, even if he's immortal. Well, Step 14. Talk to Piera and Soul play her to face the final boss. Lap bearer. Ah! Once you defeat her, go back to the base and hand over her umbral parasite. Finally, enter Mother's Lull by talking to Molu. Proceed to the end to get the umbral ending. And that's it! For more game guides and souls like content, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching.